take out your right hand. You're gonna need it. We are learning the three right hand rules of electromagnetism. And we're gonna start with Ørsted's demonstration. When a current carrying wire passes over a compass, the needle will deflect. If it passes underneath, it deflects the other way. This will also work with a magnet on a low friction bar magnet stand, which is essentially a compass. The direction that the compass points is called the magnetic field, and you can predict it with your right hand. Let your thumb be the current, the flow of imaginary positive charge, then curl your fingers around the wire. Underneath, they point one way, and above, they point another. This diagram might help you. As the current flows upward, the magnetic field will wrap around, like the fingers of your right hand. Here's the situation in real life with the wire pointing upward. When I turn the current on, we see the compasses all pointing around it, just like the fingers of our right hand. Check this out, a cathode ray tube computer screen, and look what my magnet does to it. You see, this screen is illuminated by electrons that pass from the back to the front, and what most people don't know is that magnetic fields can deflect moving charges. Now take a look at this. Electric swing apparatus. The magnetic field points from north to south, that's red to blue, or down, and the current is going this way, from right to left. Then, when we turn it on, it jumps. But how could we predict that? Well, take out your right hand. Let your thumb be the direction of the current, just like it was last time, in this case from right to left. Then your pointer finger is the magnetic field, in this case, downward. When you extend your middle finger, it becomes the force, current field force. Another way to demonstrate this would be with a strong magnet and aluminum foil. Here, this giant neodymium magnet can be used to push currents around. I have it north up if you're interested. Watch as the current is pushed all around. Or you can demonstrate the same effect with the electricity and magnetism light bulb demo. When there's an alternating current, it vibrates. But when it's a direct current, we can apply a force in a specific direction. Can you tell what direction the current is flowing? And that brings us to our third right hand rule, the solenoid rule. Watch this. This air core solenoid can act just like a bar magnet, repelling north and attracting south. Repelling north and attracting south. But how can we predict what direction the field is pointed? With our right hand. Let your curling fingers be the direction of current flow, which is looping around then your thumb is the north end of the electromagnet. Of course, the reason we need to know about electromagnetism is because it is used to generate current. For example, when I dip this magnet into this coil, it generates a few microamps, which can be seen on this microammeter here. Or, if I drop this magnet into this copper tube, it will fall slowly because it generates current on its way down. Now, you can actually see the falling magnet if you add this magnetic field viewing film. Let's imagine that it's the north end of the magnet that's going in first, or in this case, that it's the north end of this magnet that's going into the solenoid coil. What direction is the current gonna flow? Well, as it goes in, a current will be generated that points in the opposite direction of the magnet's plunge. That is, as it goes in, it is repelled by the electromagnet. If you use your right hand, it is very easy to predict. Well, that's it. Electricity and magnetism are connected phenomenon, but their fields are directed at right angles to each other. So we use the convention of the right hand to predict the relative angles of the fields. Current field force. I hope you found this video insightful. 
Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. A new video will be posted every month. So if you enjoyed watching this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button right here. And check out some of our other cool videos. If you enjoyed watching this one, give us a thumbs up. For more information on products used in this video, click this link right here.